Hobart School of Welding Technology presents Training in Gas Tungsten Arc Welding. Topic number 28, Job Practice. Fillet weld, T-joint, vertical position, aluminum. The objective of this job practice is to attain the skill necessary to produce equal leg fillet welds on thin aluminum plate in the vertical position. The finished weld should be flat to slightly convex with a face width of about two electro diameters. The weld symbol could appear as follows. Deposit a convex fillet weld on one side of the joint with equal 3 16 inch legs. The filler metal used to deposit the weld is ER4043. Material, 125,000 inch aluminum plate. Electrode, pure tungsten, 1 8 inch diameter. Shielding gas, argon, welding grade. Filler metal, ER4043, 1 8 inch diameter. Equipment, power source, AC-DC combination. Collet and collet body, 1 8 inch. Nozzle, 3 8 inch inside diameter. Protective clothing, gloves, and helmet. Stainless steel wire brush, wire cutters, and pliers. Machine settings. Current, AC. Amperage setting, 140 to 150. Weld current remote control, on. Hot start, 4. Post purge, 10 to 15 seconds. High frequency, continuous. High frequency control setting, 70. Gas flow rate, 20 cubic feet per hour. Tungsten electrode stick out, 2 to 3 electrode diameters. Thoroughly clean two pieces of aluminum plate to remove any contaminants and some of the surface oxides. Position the plates to form a T-joint and make small tack welds at each end. Wire brush the joint to remove contaminants caused by the tack welding operation. Then place the workpiece in the vertical position in order to deposit the weld from bottom to top. Position the torch with a 45 degree work angle halfway between the two plates forming the joint. The end of the electrode should be centered on the root. The travel angle is 10 to 20 degrees push. Position the filler rod 20 degrees from each plate. To make sure you are comfortable, make a few practice passes up the entire length of the joint. The vertical position is usually more difficult than the flat and horizontal position. Now once you are comfortable, start the arc at the bottom of the joint and form a puddle about two electro diameters wide. Add filler metal by dipping the rod on the leading edge of the puddle. Watch for the oxide cleaning action as you move up the joint. The heat from welding tends to move rapidly up the joint, requiring careful control of travel speed and welding current to produce a consistent weld. The finished weld should be flat to slightly convex with a face width of about two electro diameters. A white line should appear on each side of the weld indicating proper oxide cleaning. Care should be taken to maintain proper torch and travel angles. There may be a tendency to increase the push angle of the torch as you move up the joint. This will create excessive melting of the filler metal, which causes erratic filler metal addition. When you are finished, inspect the weld and then continue practice.